So one of the worst aspects of this is the exhaust design is that even though the hole is a bit smaller inside, there's so little gasket area around here. Um, I've struggled before with this leaking. Um, and also the flange is quite small so that if you over tighten it, you end up with it not sealing very well. So we'll just try silicon it and bolting it up. And if that doesn't work, I'll have to put it on the linisher and flatten it. This is the rubber inlet, it's a 360 design one with a little lip under there. So it's actually quite clever because it means you can set your carb in all different angles. Um, although when your carb is on it does tend to bounce about a bit. But these aren't, you know, Pinasco are quite late to the party. Polini and have been doing manifolds like this for a long time. And obviously you can check then whether that's going to be the right position of the carb or not. If it's not, you can turn it and adjust it. So, RD based reed block, fiberglass reeds, right there. Um, and it's got a uh, plastic stuffer inside to improve flow, which is quite nice. So. Just got a little bit of silicon around the outside of there. Gasket. Won't bother silicon in that side because it's got the rubber seal anyway. Not very generous length for these screws. Right, so we've had a problem basically trying to pressurise the engine and there's no help pressure being held at all. So, suspecting it might be something to do with the reed inlet, we're going to, uh, we're going to put a piece of rubber between the uh, reed valve manifold and the casing and if this area holds pressure then we know that there's nothing wrong with this bit and the problem is in the engine so we'll try that now okay so it doesn't seem to be in the reed valve because it's not pouring out now it's somewhere else that's holding pressure now so it's not the reed inlet, it's somewhere else in the casing, so we're going to have to find out where that is. Hopefully, it's not a lip seal on the drive side, because that means all the casings have got to come apart again. But it could be. Right, so pressure testing 101. Basically, this engine was failing in the pressure test. Um, we couldn't find where it was leaking from, because it's leaking so fast. So, first stage, we had to check if the reed valve manifold or reed block was a problem so made a effectively a rubber gasket to go on the bottom um, bolted that to the crankcase so that that was sealed and it held pressure fine so we know that this part isn't an issue all that's sealed so now the next set, step is to uh, put a slice in the bottom of that rubber bolt it down again so using this as a gasket and then the pressure will be able to get into the crankcase through the slot and we'll find out where it's leaking on the casing. Okay so I've sliced the rubber that's under there acting as a gasket and I've filled the main bearing with oil so if I pump now and there's any bubbles through the oil then we know it's the main oil seal. But I can pump as much as I like and I'll pump as much as I like and it goes straight down. A massive leak somewhere and there's no bubbles up through that bearing so the seal's fine on that side. So we've got to figure out where it is leaking from. Right so back on with the pressure test. And I think I found ourselves found ourselves a little leak. See the bubbles building here look. Basically, a stator plate screw has gone through to the current case. So the bubble's forming. But I'm pretty sure that's not the only leak, that's just one of them. It's not maintaining enough pressure to even blow the bubbles out. We may have found our culprit there, I think. 
issue is about how crap the uh, seal is on that gasket, the exhaust flange. This is why it's better to test with a bung in the bottom of the exhaust flange rather than just um, putting a rubber gasket underneath the exhaust flange like a lot of people do. So this is the motor now. We've actually got a piece of rubber underneath the exhaust flange. The problem is the exhaust flange is so badly made. Um, there's so little gasket area and it was not very flat. I'm going to have to linish that to get it flat. With a rubber complete sheet underneath of inner tube rubber, um, the gauge is going down. I pumped it up to 40. It's going down really slowly. And why is it going down really slowly? Because the um, there's a leak through to the screw hole. So I think that explains all the issues, so the rest of the motor seems to be okay.